Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In today's session, I'm going to explain how we can create the element and assign to the employee and how we can gain the result of that element. So let's move on to the application where we are going to create the element and then assign to the employee. Here on the application, we have to just scroll down and click on the show more option here. Find the element under the payroll option. So here under the payroll, we have element. If you want to use existing element, you can use existing. We are creating here the supplement, uh, the standard earning, sorry. So just search for the standard earning. We have to also give the legislative data group. Okay, so here you can see the lots of standard earning I there. Yeah. So if you want to use any existing, you can use the existing with your employee. So I'm just creating new one. So let's create the new one. Select the primary classification. We are going to create the standard earning. Let's select the standard earning. And after that, we have to select the secondary classification, which is overtime because we are going to create the overtime standard earning and the category is also the standard. Let's continue this and move on to the next page where we are going to fill the information about this standard earning let's give the name for this earning the reporting name and the description okay so we choose the us legislative data group that's why the currency is automatically populated here Let's select the what is the earliest entry date for this element is a first standard earning date and what is the latest entry date for this element is a last standard earning date. So if you uh, want to select the standard rule for this element, you can select the, the at which employment level sh should this element to be attached. If you want to select the term level, you can select the employment term is that is mean. The, uh, does this element recur each payroll period or does it require explicit entry? So here we select the non-recurring. So once in a period or if you want to change other information like process the element only once in a, each payroll period. So yes. And can a person have more than one entry of this element in a payroll period? So yes, the person have more than one element entry. And the last option is a process and pay element separately or with other earning elements. So we select the process and pay with other earning. If you want to change the effective date here, you can also change it. Otherwise, just click on the next option. Here we are give the calculation rule, the flat amount factor, percentage of earning and hours and rate. So we select the hours and rate for this overtime element. And here we select the, um, we can select the calendar month. Okay. Then the uh, periodicity conversation rule is a standard working rate annualized. And is this element subject to the retroactive changes? So no. And should this element be included in the earning calculation of the overtime base rate? So yes. And should this element to be included in the hours calculation of the overtime base rate. So yes, let's click on the next option and then submit this process after checking all the information. Then we have to submit this and just wait for the uh, few minutes after this creation. Okay, so our element is now created. Let's create the element eligibility for uh, this element and then we move ahead. Okay, so 
let's create the element eligibility click on the element eligibility then click on the action and then click create element eligibility here give the name and if you want to uh, select the automatic entry for this element you can select here otherwise you can give the eligibility criteria um for example which legal employer it is eligible and which department this element should be eligible okay then click on the submit option okay so it submitted let's move on to the our first page so here you have to select the allow multiple entries in the same period and process in payroll run if it not automatically selected okay so let's move once again for the element eligibility option here we have to go to the input value option and then here we have to edit this hours and rate option so we edit this uh, rate option here we give the default rate for this element if you want okay 1.25 uh, dollar and then submit we give the hours when, uh, when we assign the employee and run the quick pay let's move on to the person management option okay so under my client group we have a person management option here search for the employee whom you want to assign this element so brown elizabeth is a employee we are going to assign this element so let's search for it so here is the our employee the brown elizabeth let's move on to the payroll and then element entry here it has a regular salary and us taxation all already associated it you can see here the edit option it is locked we cannot uh, edit the, these options here but we can assign our element here just click on the create option and then select the element name so this is the element we just created over time sorry we created the overtime standard earning right so this is the element click on the okay option then continue you can also override the entry for this element here you can see here the rate we give under the element option and uh, let's move on to the let's submit this and move on to the quick pay option where we are going to run the payroll for this employee let's close this then move on to the home page here just scroll down click on the show more option then find the quick pay here it is a simplified quick pay here let's search for the person we are going to run payroll for
so this is the quick way for the employee we are going to run here this is the element we added to the employee let's edit the some information here we add the rate so we change it for the 0.07 we can edit here also then select the periodicity is an hourly based and then give the rate okay let's submit this and then we run the quick pay process for this employee so it's processing now we just wait for some time to uh, complete this process okay so it's completed now you can see here the statements of earning for this employee you can see here the net payment the earnings the employee deduction employer contribution here you can see the gross to net information and if you want to show other details click on the show detail option and you also click on the earning option for the other details okay you can so earning is a regular and overtime so here you can see the regular salary and overtime standard earning the employee tax deduction the employer contribution you can see here and at last you can see here the calculation of the earning standard earning element we created and assigned to the employee the hours the rate and the factor and the amount so this is the calculation for the element we created because we select the calculation root hours multiply rate so this is the easy way to understand how to create element the uh, uh, element entries and the quick pay process how to run the quick pay the payroll for the individual employee i hope you understand this process so thank you so much for watching the video